Hey everybody, Scrubman here with another video from Elder Scrolls Online. Today we're going to be doing um, a video on the crafting, covering both clothing, uh, we're going to do woodworking and blacksmithing as well because they're all fairly similar. Uh, before we get into it, <clears throat> I just discovered that ESO will be coming out with a new expansion, Necrom, will be coming out June 20th of 2023. Um, pretty exciting. They're introducing a new class, um, Arcanist. Um, it seems to be some sort of spell cast, um, spell casting a class, um, that will be a future to be some, uh, new pets. So, um, not a lot of information, um, for you guys yet. I just now discovered it so i'm going to be looking more into it i'll let you guys know as i get more details about it um in these videos um, i did notice too that they're going to be introducing new companions as i said before i think we have four now with the release of high isle uh, just recently so uh something to look forward to uh, that will mean a new area to play in a uh, new class to play as, new companions. If you pre-order it today, I believe it's 50 bucks on PlayStation. Um, you will get these uh, mounts and pets. So, um, really exciting. Um, I'm really excited for the new class. Um, I Like I said, I wish they had more classes in ESO. So that will be something that I will be looking forward to. So, enough of that. Let's get into the fun stuff. So, <clears throat> every time I get on, um, I immediately get my daily reward. Get your daily reward, guys. Um, don't miss any. You know, as you see, I've missed a few. Uh, some of this stuff is really helpful, especially when you're a new player, like these experience scrolls. Um, I will be getting more into these when I do a video on dungeons. Uh, so, you guys will actually get to see uh, some of the dungeon gameplay. When you're a new player, these these experience scrolls really really help you level up a lot faster um, so if you can get these um, on your daily rewards and use them that will really help you guys level up a lot quicker um, you got the experience scroll and the major gold coast experience scroll is a really good one um, I always try to save those ones for dungeons when I'm leveling up alright so without further ado let's get into the crafting so as I mentioned guys, crafting and ESO is not restricted in any way, shape, or form. It does not matter what race you are, what class you are, you can learn all the crafting um, skill lines, <clears throat> which include alchemy, blacksmithing, clothing, enchanting, jewelry crafting, provisioning, and woodworking. Okay, uh, today we're going to be covering blacksmithing, clothing, and woodworking. Uh, the reason I'm doing all three together is they are very, very, very similar. Um, so <clears throat> all of your skills go from level 1 through 50, which is that 50 that you're seeing. Um, w as you level up, we'll determine what level of, of gear or weapons can you make. So when you go into these for woodworking, it's woodworking. Uh, you'll see 10 out of 10, right? Because I have it maxed out. You'll start at level 1, right? As you rank these up, you will have to spend skill points to rank this up in order to use higher materials to create higher level armor. Same thing with tailoring for clothing and metalworking for blacksmithing. So as you level up your your skill line, you're gonna have to also spend some skill points to get these higher up so that you can create higher level stuff. Alright. So another thing we're gonna go ahead and touch base on while we're here is these research times and your tempers okay now guys i know i'm in blacksmithing right now but if you go down to clothing it's in the same spots right so it, it's just called something different depending on which one you're in right research times tempers research time tempers now when you research a trait and we're going to get into that in a little bit of, in, a, in a few minutes you will notice that it takes a few days, weeks, I think it goes up to like 30 days in order for it to be researched, okay? The times can get super long, super quick. 
So one way to, to keep them lowered is by investing some skill points into these research times so that it limits them, right? When you cap them out, they'll, research, they'll reduce the research times by 25% and limit, limit it to 30 days. It would also allow you to research three things, three traits at once. I think in the beginning, you can only research like one or two. So definitely something to, to tackle early on. Uh, with these this is a big one, you know, because you can't do any higher level stuff until you've done this Okay um, These come when you do improvement and I'll, I'll get back into that in just a, in just a few minutes. So We're trying to get woodworking clothing and Blacksmithing up now. This is how you will create armor for your character if you choose not to go and find a set that's offered in like dungeons. Some dungeons, um, the bosses will drop armor of a particular set, and you could do that dungeon over and over and over again until you finally have every single item from that set. And cool, I don't like to do that. Um, I like to make my own armor and weapons. Um, everything you see this guy wearing, I made. Um, it's part of the uh, Thieves Guild um, style. And then you can change the colors and stuff as you go, right? So, how do you do it? Well, the first thing you gotta do, you gotta gather materials, right? We gotta gather materials for clothing, woodworking, and blacksmithing. So, blacksmithing, it's ore, right? Um, clothing, it is weave or threads and leather for medium armor. So clothing is kind of a two-way thing because there's two um, armor types in clothing. You have your light armor and your medium armor are both part of clothing. Your light armor take thread or weave, um, are usually I think the two terms, and then you have leather for your medium armor, okay? So something to keep in mind there. And the wood working is obviously your wood, right? So where do we get it? What does it look like? All right. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to grab this materials. Then we're going to go to the crafting stations. And I'm going to explain the rest from there, right? So here we go. So first, I need to find materials, right? So this is kind of what the time-consuming part is. you got to kind of roam around and look for stuff. Leather is probably the most simplest one. You need to kill animals, right? You need to find beasts, wolves, things like this little thing right here. Um, not insects or anything like that. Think of things that would have leather, right? And you need to <coughs> uh, kill them, right? So here we go. Right here, see your hide stripes, and it's gonna tell you raw material for clothing. Okay, so you know you need this is what you're gonna be looking for. Now you need ten in order to refine them, and I'll show you guys what that means. So you need ten of a particular material, and then you refine it, and then that's what you get your actual leather. All right, that you're gonna use to craft something. So here we go. So we'll take it. Just take all that. All right. So I only got one from that thing, but sometimes you get more. So by killing uh, beasts and stuff is where you're going to get your leather. Um, now, your, your um, ore are usually going to be along rocky cliffs or by boulders. Is usually where you're going to find your ore. So we just need to keep looking. I found a lot around this area yesterday. Um, oh, somebody wants to get turned into leather. Oh, we didn't even get any. We just got meat for provisioning. All right, guys. Here is your light armor clothing material. This is the... <clears throat> ancestor silk. Now, guys, one thing I do want to mention 
is what you're seeing from me, the Ancestor Silk, is what you get when you're higher up. As you level up, you are going to notice that the plants, the ore, and the type of wood that you see lying around, it's going to change appearance, and it's going to change the type. That's because <clears throat> it is going to tailor it to your character's level, okay? Um, so what do you do if you need to create level 2 armor maybe for a frame, but your character's level 160, you know, maxed out, your skill line's maxed out? Well, <clears throat> the easiest way that I have found, I have more than one character, right? So I can go on and play a character who's lower, and I'll still find those level of materials lying around. Or you can go buy them from another player at Guild Traders. Um... You just spend some gold and, and, and get that. And I'll show you guys that as well. <clears throat> but just keep in mind that uh, I believe level 1 through 14, I believe, is a plant called jute. It's big, long, green stems with these orange-looking flowers on it. Okay, that's going to be your jute for your um, level 1 through 14. I'm trying to remember what the silk is called um i cannot remember but i will show you guys what i mean uh, the ore is going to be different the wood's going to be different it's like maple or something like that and then as you get up they're going to change all right so just something to keep in mind but either way it's going to look like a piece of wood it's going to look like a piece of thread coming out of the ground like you saw there and then the animal scraps are always going to come from animals so it's just going to be called something different as you level up so but the process to find them is still the same. All right, so now we gotta find that ore coming out of the ground. In my case, it's these red looking bricks. Ooh. He does not wanna be turned into a nice thing of armor. Alright, we got some more scraps there. Where is all the... Yeah, somebody beat me to it, mined everything. Ah, right here. Ah, see? So here is the ore <clears throat> when you get maxed out, right? So you just mine it. And you take it goes in your crafting bag or if you're not a subscribed player it will go into your inventory definitely try to get that crafting bag if you guys can afford the subscriptions it is a tremendous helper especially if you're going to get into crafting so now <clears throat> all we gotta do is find wood all right we need wood oh hello oh it's a master one Ah, that killed me. Oh well. <laughs> the master ones I like like 50-50 on. Sometimes I'll get it, and then sometimes I do that, it breaks. Um, hmm, no wood here. Um, the woods usually by trees and stuff. Usually, there's here. There's some more ore up here. There's some more silk. So all you're doing initially you, is just gathering all the materials you're gonna need. And you'll do this as you play. You'll 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 get stuff and save it and build it up. So that when you go and you need to craft stuff, you can, you know, craft a whole armor set versus just a little bit at a time. Problem is, is I'm not finding any wood. Show you guys. Um, let's see. I know there's got to be some around here somewhere.
So funny, yesterday when I was getting ready for this video, um, I literally found everything. Everything was was out here. And now, it's like I can't find anything. Which is so frustrating. Hmm. I just need to show you guys what the wood's gonna look like when you find it. Alrighty, um... Well guys, we seem to be in a bit out of wood. The trees are not dropping any wood. Which, you know... Kind of makes me wish you could just hack the trees down, but apparently not. Um, ah, right here, guys. Here we go. Ruby ash wood. Okay, so your, your logs are just gonna be like this. And like I said, they're going to change appearance as you level up, as your skill level, and your skill line levels up. You're just going to hack it up, right? There you go. So, your, your ore and your wood are pretty self-explanatory. You just roam around and look for them. The ore is going to be along rocky cliffs or by boulders. Your wood's going to be by trees, um, either big trees, small trees. I mean, they're just going to be laying there. Uh, your light armor, weaves, and silks are going to be like plants in the ground. Um, as you look, you're going to know what they look like. Um, it's just something you're going to have to kind of just roam around for and look for. Um, and you'll learn them as you go. Uh, and then your leather armor is simply just kill animals. Okay. Uh, so we're going to head back to the city. Um... And I'm, we're going to go and we're going to make some stuff, right? Alright, so now we, we've gathered our materials. Next up is to refine them into the actual material that we're going to use to make our stuff. Uh, those are all, We got our raw materials, now we need to refine them into our actual leather scraps, our actual leather and our uh, weaves and stuff, right? So here we go. I think they call it timber or planks or something like that in for woodworking. Not best with the terminology guys don't judge me. So, your crafting stations are going to be in places like this, right? Um, you got, this is your uh, clothing. Uh, that's obviously blacksmithing, okay? Um, over there, that green banner is your alchemy. Uh, the little jewel thing is your enchanting. And then you have right there, that, that blue one is... Um, your jewelry making um, the woodworking here is a little bit different um, than it is everywhere else it's actually right outside uh, instead of being inside so here's yeah here's woodworking right here okay so I'll show you guys the different stations so this is your woodworking station somebody left their tools everywhere so fortunate all right, clothing. You got the poor little uh, looks like a beaver, just kind of pinned down to the board. Sadistic, but you know, hey, whatever you got to do, right? Can't have that thing moving around. And obviously, this is going to be your blacksmithing station, right? All right, so we got our raw materials. So now, what do we do? We refine them. So you're going to go in here. Now, this all right here is going to be the same for all three. Okay, none of this is going to change. You're going to hit refine. Okay, these are all the different types of stuff. See, like I told you guys. So, see, here is your um, 
level 1 to 14. So level 1 to 14, it's going to be iron. Okay? Well, that's what you guys are going to see in the very beginning. If I remember right, it's a big, round, brown piece of rock. Okay? Is what you're going to see. Alright? And then as you level up, it's going to change into these other things. Okay? And then there's some things like dried blood and stuff that are going to become... That you're going to find throughout the world that are used to make different styles of armor. Um... Don't worry about that. All right, so what are we going to do? So, you're going to click on it to refine it, okay? Now, on PlayStation, you hold square to refine all, in this case, 50 of them. So, you need 10 in order to make your, uh, in order to refine it. So, if you have 50, then you can refine it five times. So, versus having to hit it five times, you just hold it. It will do it all at once. Let's go see how many times you want to refine it. You hit five, because that's your max. You'll see up here in the right corner, I got 43 ingots, okay? You, that's what you need in order to craft. Blacksmithing is ingots, right? All right, so let's go over and do the same thing with clothing. You come to clothing station. Oh, see, I was one short, okay? But I would click it, refine it, pop it up. Oh, here we go, light armor. Bam. We'll refine it twice. And as you see, I got my silk for my light armor, and it gave me uh, a material that's used for a trait. We'll get into trades in just a minute. Woodworking. I didn't have enough wood, apparently. So, but same thing. Refine it, get your materials. Now, when you're going to go here to creation, okay, you're going to see all the different things that you can create, okay? Um, so up here you're going to see the type, okay? Blacksmithing and woodworking both have weapons, so you have to switch back and forth uh, between armor and weapons. Alright, so here's going to be your staffs and, and your bow, whereas blacksmithing is all your other metal um, weapons, your axe, your mace, uh, swords, <coughs> daggers, all that other good pointy stuff used for stab stabs and stick sticks all right so we're going to then select what level we want to make so you're going to be able to get through all these levels as you level up that first passive ability skill i showed you guys the 10 out of 10 right as you level up the skill line you'll be able to spend those skill points in order so that you can use these higher level materials to make higher level armor for yourself you don't want to be a level champion 10 with a level 10 staff right so you got to kind of keep up with it right so after you select the level you want to make and you can go down here and actually go through since it says levels 1 through 14 you can go up here and go all the way to 14 okay then you're going to select the style guys the style is the way it's going to look okay um you have to learn these um, styles. The way that you learn them is you find either the pages or the books. Um, show you guys I, one way to do it uh, um, that I've gotten a lot of mine is through the store, right? So, like, these are the styles. So, like, this is one I have. And you can go by and see how it looks. So if you have a style that you bought from the store and it's still in the store and you would want to remember how it looks, you can just do this to hit preview and look at it, right? Now, if you look on the right, it's going to tell you buy on equip. The motif books are what you're going to look for. Or if it's just a single page, it might be for just the dagger style, right? It could be the hazardous alchemy style for just daggers. Okay, that's going to be a page for one item. But if it includes everything, it's going to be the book. If it includes both weapons and armor styles for that particular style, in this case, Hazard's Alchemy, it's going to be the whole book, right? And it will tell you guys if you already have it in your library. If you buy it again, you won't be able to use it, nor will you be able to give it to a different character. It's mine to you. So don't mess that up. That really sucks. All right? So th that is what your styles are it's just the look so um 
the, another way that you can look and see what it looks like is if you go to collections here and you go down to your armor and weapon styles you can see what you already have discovered and you can just click on it to preview it with your character so could you <clears throat> Excuse me, Kaji is a race style that you can learn pretty easily in the game. You just click it. Alright. And you're going to see it on my character, it's changing. There's the hazardous alchemy. Alright, so if, you, if, you, if you're making armor for your character and you want to know how it looks, um, you can do that. Uh, also remember to, you can change the colors at an outfit station, right? So that's what that is. Okay, so you choose your trait. We'll keep it simple. Uh, yeah, what, why not? What am I not to cheat, right? So traits, guys, these are what you gotta research. Okay, this is what I was talking about with the researching. You have to learn these as well, okay? You're going to select one of these that you've learned, or if you haven't learned any, or maybe you don't want a trait, you're just going to hit no trait, and then down there you see square on PlayStation is your um, craft, and you're going to hit that, and it's going to craft it, all right? So we're going to craft this for just demonstration purposes. All right, you're going to see item crafted. Okay, that's going to make your woodworking skill blacksmithing skill or clothing skill go up guys the process to make stuff on blacksmithing and clothing is the exact same okay you're just gonna select your whatever item level style trait if you want one and then craft it you can also craft more right you can craft as many as you have enough supplies for right you can also hit set the maximum i can make 25 of these apparently all right so now Improvement. Remember when I was telling you guys about those tempers, right? I was telling you guys the tempers um, right here, the skill line. You want to, or in this, they call them resins in this one, right? The resins, the tempers are all used to increase the rarity of your um, armor, okay? By doing so, you make the. Um, the boost and the bonus is better so in my case if i want to improve my armor right right now it's an epic so your white lettering is normal okay then green is fine blue is superior epic is purple legendary is gold right so if i wanted to make this so if i wanted to make this uh staff better right i'm gonna add the maple staff to my improvement right you're gonna see it's gonna say i need two of the fine which in this case what we're working is pitches in order to have a 100 percent chance in order to um change it from normal to fine now guys you guys keep in mind too that um my resin you know my temper uh skill line is maxed out so when you start out you're going to need a lot more of these in order to have that 100 percent chance and, and you'll see that okay and at this point you'll just hit improve so i'm going to go ahead and do it for just fine um so you guys can see what it does so you can see right here if you look at the maple restoration staff in green right there from fine notice the damage is higher right and it does cost money to do as well 18 gold right and it's gonna do that for us and then it's gonna go on to blue all right and you just keep going up and that's how you make not only the rarity better but also the stats the damage um, for armor it's gonna make the armor amount that it gives you better so a pretty simple process just you want to max out that passive ability that I showed you guys um, to its max so that it doesn't cost so much of your uh, materials in order to do it, right? Like I said, once you get it maxed out, it'll cost you eight legendaries um, in order to get it to legendary. Um, the other three aren't too bad. I'll be honest, they're not too bad at all. Um, <clears throat> as you can see superior only cost me three but i mean look if i only use one it's a 37 percent chance 
you know so um i never ever attempted um may, uh, improving something unless i had a 100 percent chance just because you know you you put in a lot of time and energy just to get your materials why would you waste them um just not something i was willing to do so i went ahead and maxed out my crafting pretty quickly um that will not as far if i remember right it will not um do anything to improve your skill line okay so that's not going to make your woodworking clothing or blacksmithing go up okay um uh, because you're not really you're not making anything you're just improving something that you've already made so it's not going to give you any credit towards your skill line all right so that's improving guys so the last oh we'll go into deconstruction last but researching traits okay let's get into traits guys traits are a pain in the butt okay <laughs> um every single one of these that you see powered charge precise infused defending training sharpened decisive and nerf on are all the same for wood for woodworking clothing and blacksmithing okay they are all going to be the same um powered is usually in increases healing done okay um charged is uh increases status effects precise increases your weapon and spell critical uh infused if you put an enchantment on a on a weapon um i can go ahead and show you guys that i think uh just to show you guys what it, what exactly that means um it makes the enchantment um on your weapon or armor better um and it also reduces the enchantment cooldown so like on my swords you can't really see them because of the effect that they have of like that ghostly effect but it deals shock damage so before i had that effect on my swords because i just got that um <clears throat> you when you pulled them out they would have this shock like electricity going up the blade okay whenever i hit something every now and then you'll see it deal shock damage to the enemy you'll see the enemy get like electrocuted or sometimes they'll burst into a ball of electricity and then vaporize um that's that shock damage um enchantment doing its thing same thing with fire and ice um and other i think there's even a poison one too um so <clears throat> the infuse is going to make uh the weapon enchantment effect better and um reduce the cooldown um you're defending you see that a lot on armor uh, it increases your physical and spell resistance, so um, I always take that to mean um, from an enemy to you. Um, training. Training is a really good one. I see a lot of people put on their stuff when they're trying to level up their character. It just gives you extra experience from killing stuff. Um, not something I would put on a character who's past champion level. Um, honestly, past 30 i think i would stop using this um if at all at that point i never did use this um i'll show you guys some tricks and stuff when we get into dungeons on how to level up your character super quick all uh, right sharpened uh increases your physical and spell penetration um decisive um you have an ultimate ability um as you do damage and so like that it builds it up and then once it's got a complete build up it's like a big freaking um it's a big ability it does like a big damage um i'll show you guys here real quick what that is oops so the l1 plus r1 um right here so for me it's incapacitating strike okay um that's your ultimate ability all right so um you have a chance of getting an, an additional one at no cost. Nerfond. Okay, guys, Nerfond is the hardest skill, a uh, hardest trait to learn. One, because the material um, that you use to make it is extremely rare. It can only be found in Craglorn. Okay? And it... It is also very, very uncommon because of the materials hard to find to find something that has that trait already on it. And I'm gonna explain to you guys why that's important. So it is really hard to learn it. Um, 
I only have a few things that have Nerf on on it, and let me tell you some. Actually, everything here has it except my restoration staff, um, which is your healing staff, guys. I don't. It, it gives it a fancy name. Um, Nerf on is 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 the hardest trait to learn. Um, you'll see that a lot of people have everything but that. Um, <clears throat> It took me a while to get just what I have, and I, and if I had more time to play this game, I probably would have the rest of these done. Um, if you do find something on a guild trader from another player that you can buy that has that trait on it, it's super expensive. Um, and you'll see, if you go to a guild trader and look up the material to, to add this trait to something, the material costs insane amount of gold because it's so rare to find. Uh, I think I can roam around Craglord for like two hours plus and find maybe one. Okay? It, 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 it is hard to find. Um, so these are your traits. So you have to research these in order to be able to use them when you make something okay so the way you do that is you need to find something uh, so in this case let's use restoration staff so restoration staff um, I would have to find a restoration staff that has each of these things so you would need to find a restoration staff that has powered and then another restoration staff that has charged and then another one that has precise and so on and so forth what you do then is when you have something in your inventory that has one of these trays on it and this will go for woodworking and clothing as well it's going to show you <clears throat> instead of saying unknown right here it's going to say researchable okay um when you find something that says that has um, researchable next to it you're gonna just hit X down there you see on PlayStation it's X to research it okay at the top you can see I have researching zero out of three when you start out I believe it's like one or two it's not full max okay um, three is the max um, and you need to max out that skill I was showing you guys um, that passive ability, like meteorology, stitching, and then woodworking, they call it carpentry, reduces your research time by 25% and limits the research time to 30 days. Okay, it allows the research of three items at once. So at first, you don't get that luxury of three items at once. Okay, now, so when you hit research, right? Um, let's say we have a power and I hit research, okay? It's gonna pop up a timeline under that zero traits researchable, right? It's gonna, under restoration staff, it's gonna have a time limit, okay? When you, when that time limit runs out, you will have learned it. When you log in again, it's gonna pop out. You have learned whatever on restoration staff. So then, once you've learned it, when you go into create, you're gonna notice it's instead of being red like this it's gonna be lit up and you'll be able to use it um, so right now I'm gonna try to see if I have something I can um, research just to show you guys how it's done unfortunately I've learned a lot of this and nerf on like I said oh okay guards see I need to know guards reinforced right so let's go see if we can find it so guys how do you find an item what is the best way to have an item to research okay can you pick them up from quests and dungeons and stuff like that yes you can if you get a, an item from a quest or from a dungeon um or you pick it up from an enemy and it has that trait on it yeah you can go and research it as long as it has that trait on it now if you have a friend that really 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 loves you and you play with them on the daily and the, you know they're feeling really nice and hopefully they are because this will save you so much time um, if in my like my buddy and I do this all the time if if my buddy needs a shield Okay, let's just, we're going to use that example since it popped up. And let's say he needs sturdy, right? Well, hey, I have sturdy. Okay, so you know what you can do? Well, 
to help my buddy out because I'm a great friend, I would create a shield, right, with sturdy on it, craft it, and then once I craft it, I go to social, I go to mail, you go to send, you put in their online ID, you type in here's your stupid shield, um, you're welcome, you know, uh, you attach that shield to it and you send it to them. They take it out and then because they now have a shield that has sturdy in their possession, when they go to research, they will be able to take apart and research sturdy because you help them. So that is another way to quickly get them. If you know somebody who's got the traits that you need to learn, ask them, hey, can you can you make one for me so that I don't have to go and spend all this gold buying it for the guild traders? That is the disadvantage. If you don't pick them up from enemies, dungeons, or quests, the another option that you can do, and I did this a lot with Nerfond, is you go to, Good to see you. the guild traders here, okay? So what were we looking for? We we're looking for guards, right? Medium armor is a guard, okay? That would be the legs. And level doesn't matter, guys. Level does not matter. As long as you have in that item with the trait on it, it doesn't matter if it's a level 50 piece of armor or a level one piece of armor, as long as it has that trait, right? And we need what, reinforced? All right, so they don't have any. This is another disadvantage about doing it this way. Besides spending a lot of gold is a lot of times you can run into the fact that nobody has it. Right? So then what do you do then? You're pretty much at the mercy of picking it up. I'll oh, see that they have it. They have it for 1,000 whatever. So just to show you guys this. Um, and see, if you look on the side where it has the items information, you're going to see reinforced... And it's going to have that little magnifying glass by it. That means that that trait, you still need to research it. Right? You guys see that there? On the right hand side, maximum stamina, right? And then right under stamina, it says reinforced with a magnifying glass. That means that trait, you still need to research. Right? So I'm going to go ahead and buy this. Okay. And then you go back to... The station. Um, I think I went the wrong way. I did go the wrong way. Forgive me, guys. Alright, so we're going to come down here. Right? We're going to wait for it to hit our mail. Heck yeah, it hit our mail pretty quick. We're going to take it. Alright? We're going to go to clothing station. We're going to go to research. Okay, and then we got to go over to whatever it is that we bought. See how it did that? Researchable. Now, see, it's going to tell me it's going to take 21 days. One thing you guys are going to notice is the more things that you have researched for an item, those last few things, usually the last two, are going to take forever. I do believe the last, like if I was to research this and Nerfon was last, when I research Nerfon, it's going to be about 30 days. So, um, it's crazy. If you don't have that, that passive ability I showed you guys, the carpentry, the stitching and stuff max out, it will take months. Um, I actually had one that took me um, about half the time I was in basic uh, to finally get that. My buddy took care of it while I was gone, um, shipped out. And when I got back, um, he was like, dude, that took way too long. <laughs> so about half the time I was in basic, it was still researching it. Um, so it's crazy, right? So you're going to hit research. It's going to ask you, is this the item you want to use? If you have more than one item to pick from, then it's going to be in there. Now be careful. Because if there's something you don't want to destroy to research, make sure you're paying attention. Either put it in your bank or, or just... Yeah, just really be paying attention. Um, I put my things in my bank that I don't want to accidentally destroy um, because that way you don't have to worry about accidentally using it. Once it's destroyed, guys, there's no going back, right? So you're gonna hit research trait. It's gonna ask you, do you want? It's gonna destroy this. Do you do you want to continue? Yes, we want to continue. So now it's gonna say researching. 
okay? And then you have to wait 21 days in order to be able to finally use Reinforced. So that is your researching, guys. It, it, will, it just takes time, okay? Time and, and paying attention. And then you say researching one out of three. So that means I can research two more things, okay? And now, guys, that's one out of three across the board, that's not you don't get to research three things in woodworking three things in and blacksmithing and three things in clothing no it is three things entirely so if you have two things in blacksmithing being researched that means you can only research one one more thing across woodworking clothing and blacksmithing so you know really be thinking about okay w prioritize what you want to research you know that way you're getting the stuff that you need first when you research an item, it also will make your uh, skill line go up, okay? So the last thing we're going to touch base on is deconstructing. Deconstructing, guys, is probably the fastest way, fastest way to, that I found to build up your skill line, and we'll show you guys what I did. A lot of people may not agree with this, but I found this to be the fastest way for me to get my skill line from 1 to 50 so that I could become a master crafter and, and have everything maxed out. So you see that I have two of these things that I can deconstruct, right? I click them. I select both of them. And you hold to deconstruct both of them. So I ask if you want to deconstruct these two items. You can hit yes. Okay, you're going to see that on the right-hand side, it gives materials discovered or recovered. Okay, <clears throat> when you deconstruct stuff, that is a great way to get materials, guys. Deconstructing stuff will give you the, the materials to improve. It will give you materials for trades, and it will give you materials that you need to make stuff of different levels. Like I was showing you guys the wood and the leather and, and the ore. Okay, uh, great way to get that stuff. But... Uh, it's hard to show you guys because my clothing is maxed out, but when you deconstruct stuff, especially when you deconstruct a bunch of stuff at once, especially things of different rarities, your your skill line down there on the right hand, uh, right bottom corner, you're going to see that thing go up. Okay, so here's a trick that I learned. As you level up, right, let's say we're here. Okay, I would go and I would make a crap load of stuff in these things, like these levels, right? All the levels behind where I'm at, I would make a bunch of stuff as much as I can, right? And I would just, you know, use these, you know, use styles that I don't like, whatever, okay? Put no trait, because that doesn't matter, and just make a bunch of crap, and then go and deconstruct it. It, it will make your stuff jump. Um, yes, you'll end up using a lot of your materials. That's why. Let's, if you're here, you're more likely going to be making armor for that level for yourself. Okay. Um, unless you're making armor for other people, you probably won't need a lot of this. So use it wisely. Um, yes, but if you can spare some, make a bunch of stuff and then deconstruct it. Another way to quickly... Um, learn stuff is through inspiration you'll have some items you have let me see if I can find one um, it's okay it's gonna be called a writ uh, intricate so I cannot talk I just woke up um, you see that blue symbol right underneath of it, this right by the, the thing. It says increases inspiration gained from deconstruction of this item by 280%, guys. And you get additional refined materials. You will these are not hard to find. Um, intricate items. They are not hard to find. Um, you can also go in here like this and buy them with your gold take them and deconstruct them guys the intricate stuff will make your skill lines jump especially if you do what i said and you take a bunch of stuff all at once and deconstruct it it will fly your skill line up okay that is probably the fastest way i found to get your skill lines up um 
so that you can make an item um, of, of higher quality and higher level and get that skill line maxed out so that you can be a master crafter when you get your skill line up to level 50 you guys will be able to do what's called master writs master writs are um i wouldn't say hard but they're it's an assignment i think i actually have some yeah here here is a provisioning one provisioning is the food guys um so I have to, they're very, very specific. They're going to tell you exactly what you have to craft. And then when you turn them in, you get those rip vouchers. Okay. Uh, for woodworking, it could be something like um, craft a champion level one, uh, 150 sword of this style with this trait of this rarity. And they can be legendary. Um, I actually had one that not only was a legendary item, but it also had to have this trait, which I didn't have. And it had to be this style, which I didn't have, from this crafting station, which I hadn't discovered. So let's just say that was a pain in the butt to do. Um... I will get into crafting stations uh, that are found throughout the world in another video. Um, I do want to go ahead and, and touch this. Uh, I was telling you guys about those books. These are this. Those. These are the books. Um, and you guys can buy these in the trade and the guild trader stores as well from other players. Um, you will just go in and hit multiple book, um, and and that will pop up for you. And you can learn ones learn other styles of, of armor and swords uh, of weapons um, so that is blacksmithing clothing and woodworking guys it, it seems like a lot but it really isn't um, and you will find that people will tend to help you um, if you have questions uh, if you guys have any other questions or need something maybe brushed up on uh, or a little bit more focused on let me know that is your crafting um, on blacksmithing clothing and woodworking video i will get this uh up and ready for you guys and we'll move on to the next crafting video which will be provisioning enchanting and alchemy here very soon i appreciate you guys watching i hope this helped um crafting questions and i hope to see you guys in the next video uh give me a like and subscribe guys thanks for watching and i will see you guys in a little bit, keep scrubbing.